Hello and welcome to another Wits of Wenzel YGO video. Here I have a deck profile for a pure Dragon Link deck that I built based on the combo video I posted last week involving Double Disruptor Dragon. So this isn't like the uh, French National winners built. This is only 44 cards instead of 60. So let's get right into it. So our rocket package, a little bigger than normal. So we have three Tracer, one Recharger, two Synchron, and one Caliber. As I discussed in the last video, we have two Apps Router and three Quick Launch. So, I've seen it debated all the time. Why three Tracer instead of two? Drawing this card is awesome. Like, even if you have like four hand traps and a Tracer, you're still gonna be able to put up like at least a Borlo Savage with a Negate. So, I always wanna open it. I know the argument, oh, you can always see it through a Ravine, but then you have to go Neg one to search a Ravine, then discard a card. And you're going to be getting rid of the ravine to play boot sector launch anyway to summon it so that's why i play three caliber i think it's interesting probably not going to get its first effect summon off but if you do have something stuck in your hand like a double disruptor dragon then it's your way out you can always side it out in game two game three but it is useful to have another rocket tuner so if you want to keep this in deck or you want to leave it in hand in order to use it for follow-up next turn you're able to summon this instead if all you need is a tuner Next, we get into the rest dragon cards. So you got Double Nocto, Triple Safer, Black Dragon Clap Reverend, White Dragon Wyvern Burster, Levianir, Chaos Emperor, Dragon Armageddon, and three Chaos Space. So the reason I'm playing both is we're playing the Zombie Vampire in the extra deck. And so having the level eight, you can excavate the off Chaos Ruler is fantastic. Good extender, good way into the Chaos Dragon if you don't draw a Chaos Space. Level fours are always good, so you don't have to use your Tracer Summon to get out the Recharger necessarily. But this also gives you the recovery that you can get a Banished Dragon Dragon back without relying on Chaos Space. So you have the follow-up next turn to be able to revive using the uh, Recharger Striker Dragon combo. So next, before we get into the going second cards, I'm going to go into a bit of like sort of the bricks and other cards you need to play. So we have the two field spells, you know why. Then we have the Double Disruptor, Quack from Mario Drago, and the Rapid Trigger. So this is where the inspiration came from uh, the French Nationals list. So this is your answer, basically if you get your Nibiru going first, you summon this out, you're able to get two rockets back, still make something like Chaos Ruler or Mortal Savage. And then also search a Rapid Trigger. Rapid Trigger is pretty good because you can use it to summon Borlo Furious. And then with that, you have sort of like uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer Light, where you're still able to destroy one card on each side of the field. But you get follow-up, and as well, it does give you a main deck out to your opponent actually miss mine on your turn. Or on their turn, so. I think it's a neat option. Worst comes worse, you just side it out for game two and game three if it's not really working. But let's get into the going second cards. Because Dragon Link, you know, we're playing a lot of hand traps and the like, so we're playing 14. We got Triple Ash, Triple Veiler. I know Veilers, you don't see a lot of people playing it, but I think it's pretty, pretty good. Hits Sword Soul, hits a lot of stuff like Punk Therian. You can hit the uh, Z Homage Search. As well, you can add it off Chaos Ruler, and if you need that level 1 tuner to normal summon to go into Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend Abyss, Veiler's your, uh, your card. Triple Nibiru, because combo's coming back between the Sun Avalon and ABC and everything else that's splashing Therian. You need this, like, sure, they have regulars in the game, but that's why you have things like Effect Veiler to stop that, or Griffin, well, you wouldn't be able to stop the uh, regulars, but you can bait up the gate early. Then as well, we're playing uh, Gamma and Driver. So this is good going first and going second, especially you hit a Chaos Space and then uh, they try and Ash it and you just Gamma or you hit the Droll after the Surge. Like, and then that's a free Chaos Ruler right there. And then the last two cards are just two Forbidden Droplet. Needed room for two more. Uh, I figure you need this in case you're going second and they put up the whole like Hulk 5 Rack Dagda combo. Or a variety of other things. So, you know, you play more and the Dark Ruler's in the side deck, or you can choose to, but I still think it's nice to main deck the two. So that's our main deck. 
So let's get into the extra. I don't think it's anything crazy, but we got your Synchros, Savage, Chaos Ruler, Hot Red. That's like very standard Dragon Link uh, material. We got Borlo Furious, I explained with Rapid Trigger. It's searchable off the Double Disruptor and you do get follow up on it as well, being able to banish some Dark Link monsters. So it's a pretty easy way to get to access code and finish the game on turn three. Zombie Vampire, getting the additional mills, milling your opponent, you can hit some of their Garnets, which is really nice. As well, you can summon back a Tuner if need be, like a Zeomin, so. Pretty cool card. For the Lynx, we go Pisty and Striker Dragon for Link ones, like super standard. Romulus, Quad Boral, Heretic Seal, as well for the non-Dragon ones, we have Halky Fibrax and IP Mascarina. Again, pretty standard. I'm playing Quad Boral because, well, it's got a down arrow, so you can use it to set up your Pisty play, because you're not playing Triple Verse in this list. But as well, it does have a way to get you back to two Rockets, if need be. Then, for the last ones, you're playing Unicorn as your climb to Axis Code, plus having a good effect to go off with IP. Axis Code to finish games, and Borland as another option for interruption on your opponent's turn. So that's the deck list. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And if you like uh, this kind of content or you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh content, please uh, hit that subscribe button. I saw we're at uh, just under 225 subscribers right now, which is crazy. So please continue to show the support and I'll see you in the next video.